Hi, I'm Nick Normal with Make. This weekend project is an old favorite with a few new twists. We're calling them Extreme LED Throwies. The LED Throwie was first invented around 2005 as a type of electronic graffiti. They're a little LED light with a strong magnet attached to them. You throw them onto metal surfaces and they stick there. They'll stay lit up for days or even weeks. They're easy and people love making them. Since we first published the LED Throwie project, makers have invented dozens of new ways to use them. Today, we'll show you how to build several of these variations. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. Hey, this is Tyler, and I'm here in Make Labs, where we build all the projects that are featured in Make. The basic LED throw is super simple. It's nothing more than just an LED, a coin cell battery, a magnet, and some tape. We'll show you how to make basic throwies and then modify them with a simple on-off switch made of paper. Then we'll ditch the magnets and we'll make a housing that turns a throwie into an indestructible LED lantern. Then we'll seal throwies inside some toy fish to make LED swimmies that can take to the water. Finally, we'll stuff throwies into helium balloons to make LED floaties that will light up the sky. Let's get started. You will need the following parts for the build. For regular LED throwies, you don't need any tools at all, except maybe scissors for the tape. For the other projects, you'll need these tools. To make a throwie, slip the coin cell battery between the leads of the LED so the LED's positive leg, the long one, is on the positive side of the battery. It should light up. If not, you probably just have the battery upside down. Flip it over. Tape the LED's legs to the battery with one complete turn of electrical tape. Now tape the magnet over that with another complete turn. That's it. You've got an LED throwy. Throw it onto your fridge or a truck or any ferromagnetic metal surface and you'll see why they call it a throwy. The more you make, the more you can throw. Throwies will naturally stick together because of the magnets, so you can chain them together into giant throwy bugs to really light things up. Once you make a basic throwy, it stays lit until it uses up the whole battery. To modify a throwy so you can switch it off, just cut two tabs of paper cardstock a little narrower than the battery and sandwich the LED's longer lead between these before you tape up the throwy. One tab will stick to the tape, the other will slip in and out, making and breaking contact, so you can switch your throwy on and off whenever you want. Throwies are fun to use outside, but they're vulnerable to wet weather. So our friend Steve Hofer came up with this great hack using PVC pipe fittings. It makes a tiny weatherproof lantern you can put anywhere. Drill a 3 8 inch hole in the top of the PVC cap. It will make a watertight fit for a 10 millimeter LED. Use a drill vise to prevent kickback. A drill press is best, but a handheld drill will work. Cut one half inch off each LED then use pliers to bend a small dog leg in the longer positive lead. This helps keep the negative lead from shorting out the edge of the battery. Wrap the base of the LED with thread sealing tape, then hold it with the pliers so the nose is flush against the LED's bottom. Push the LED firmly through the cap from the inside until it's flush against the inside. If it's too tight, use the open end of the PVC plug as a backstop and gently tap the plier handles with a rubber mallet or a block of wood. Now we'll power up the lantern. You don't need a magnet, just slip the battery between the LED leads as before. To keep it in place, insulate the binder clip with some electrical tape, then clip the binder clip over the leads to pinch them against the battery. Wrap the top edge of the PVC plug once with sealing tape, then squeeze the plug into the cap. That's it. These LED lanterns are tough and they'll glow for days. They've survived being submerged for a week and laundered in the washing machine. Use them to light up a yard party or to mark a trail at night. Steve has floated them downstream, frozen them in ice, and even used them as ammo in a pneumatic cannon. What if you want to turn loose a bunch of throwies in a pond or a swimming pool? Make LED swimmies. All you do is find a small toy fish and slip a throwy inside we found the squirting goldfish online. For sources, check the weekend projects page. Just cut a slit near the fin on the top. Squeeze the throwies inside, then seal the cut with silicone caulk or a hot glue gun. In this case, we also have to seal the fish's mouth. Then set your swimmies free in the pool. The more the better. One artist made 500 of these and turned them loose in a pond at night. 
What if you want your throwies to float in the air? Just slip a throwy into a helium balloon, then inflate it and tie it off. Use a 12 inch balloon or bigger so it will hold enough helium to lift your throwy. Again, these throwies don't need magnets, but you'll definitely want to trim the leads so they don't poke out and pop your balloon. Attach your LED floaties to a long tether to make a giant chain of glowing lights across the sky. As always with throwies, the more you make, the cooler it's gonna look. If you're using these outside, make sure your tether is strong enough so they don't float away. Otherwise, they'll end up in creeks, rivers, and places they don't belong. Or cover the ceiling with them or tether them in bunches anywhere you want cool floating lights. These are just a few of the fun ways to use LED throwies. To learn more about these ideas and more, check out the Weekend Projects page or search the Make blog. If you come up with new ideas for throwies, please share them at Make Projects. And as always, have fun.